Sometimes uncertainty is more of an estimate than an absolute sort of calculation. For example, when we're looking at temperature time response of temperature sensors, then if we had an ideal situation with a step function change in temperature, so suddenly going from one temperature to another, we'd expect an exponential decay, first order, response from the sensor, and the time constant would be when we got to 63% of that final asymptotic value. It would go up and get closer and closer and eventually reach an asymptote. From this data, if we were fairly confident in all these values, we could get a time constant with very low uncertainty. However, in a real measurement, we have a hard time creating an absolute step function. Probably the actual temperature that our sensors responding to went up sharply, and in the case of our coffee cup, then started to decay back down towards room temperature, while the sensor followed it up and eventually reached close to equilibrium with the actual temperature of the coffee cup. So if we were looking for 63%, should we take this temperature, or this temperature where it fa finally zooms in, or something somewhere in between? Well, if we take the something somewhere in between, then our range of temperatures that correspond to that roughly 63% has some width to it about that big. That means that the time when we got there is somewhere between here and about here, so our best estimate is somewhere in the middle there. We can still pull off a time constant, and we've got some uncertainty in that time constant that arises mostly out of the uncertainty in the test conditions that we used rather than the uncertainty in the exactitude of the individual measurements. That uncertainty is hard to quantify absolutely without absolute accuracy in the measurements, but we can look at this graphically and say, hmm, that looks like about one-tenth of the total time. Our tau is approximately plus minus 10%. And if that level of uncertainty is acceptable for our, our uh, evaluations, then that may be a good enough estimate of the uncertainty to go forward with.